Boys and girls, welcome to our Wednesday morning Bible lesson. I'm sorry today, Auntie Corona and Uncle Vincent are with us today. Hopefully they will be back with us one day uh, next week. But what I'm going to do with you today is to continue the story of Daniel. We were thinking on Monday of how Daniel and his three friends, Hananiah, Azariah and Mishael, they wouldn't compromise. That means they wouldn't do what... The people of Babylon wanted to do, they remained faithful to the God of Israel, the true God who they worshipped. And God blessed them and God looked after them. But the king of Babylon was a man called Nebuchadnezzar. Not a big long name, Nebuchadnezzar. And he had a dream one night that really disturbed him. And he told his wise men that he wanted them to be able to tell him what the meaning of the dream was. But he said to them, I'm not going to tell you what the dream was. You have to tell me the dream and the meaning. And I said to him, listen, no king has ever asked that of his wise men. No one is able to do that. But the king was so determined. I'm not going to tell you. And if you can't tell me the meaning of the dream as well as the dream, then you will die. The king was really furious. They protested to the king and they said to the king, listen, no one is able to do that. No one is able to tell a dream which they haven't heard. And the king got more and more cross. And so he gave an order that all the wise men in Babylon would be put to death. Now, Daniel was considered as one of the wise men in Babylon. And along came Ariok, one of the king's soldiers, to arrest Daniel and for Daniel to be put to death as well. And he says to Arik, why is this? And Arik told him about the dream. Well, says Daniel, tell the king that I will give him an answer. So what Daniel was, he spoke to his friends, Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, told him to pray. And they went and prayed. And Daniel prayed too that God would give to him the dream and the meaning of the dream. And so at night, Daniel was given by God the meaning of the dream. God explained it to him. And so Daniel then went to see King Nebuchadnezzar. And when he went to see the king, he said, the king asked him, are you able to explain my dream? Daniel was quick to say, no, not I, but the true God of heaven. He is the one who is able to explain your dream. And without being told by Nebuchadnezzar what the dream was, Daniel then told him what he had dreamt. He told him that he had dreamt about a great statue. And the top of the statue had a head of gold. Then its arm and its chest were of silver. Its middle was of bronze. And then its legs were of iron. And its feet was a mixture of iron and clay. And Daniel told the king, what happened in your dream was that a, a stone, not cut by the hands of man, came and struck the foot of the statue. And the statue shattered and it was blown away by the wind because it was just left as dust. And then Daniel told the king what the meaning of the dream was. He says, the golden head is you, Nebuchadnezzar. You are a great king. But after you will come another king who isn't so great, and he is the silver, and then another who is the bronze, and then another who is the iron, and then another who is the iron and clay. And during his time, a kingdom will arise, which will be forever. A kingdom which is not started by man, but a kingdom that is started by God. And what Daniel was explaining to King Nebuchadnezzar was that all these different kings would reign over the next centuries. But then there would come one from God, Jesus Christ, God's Son. And he would set up a kingdom which will last forever. And boys and girls, 2,000 years after Jesus came, he still has millions and millions of followers around this world. People who love him. People in whose hearts he rules and he reigns. And they will go to be with him in heaven forever. 
in a place of joy and happiness to worship him and serve him forever in a kingdom that will never end. And boys and girls, one of the reasons I'm sharing this story with you tonight is that you will come to know this Jesus. King Nebuchadnezzar was amazed at what Daniel was able to tell him. He praised Daniel's God and he appointed Daniel to be head over the whole province of Babylon. And Daniel didn't forget about his friends Hananiah, Azariah and Mishael. They were promoted to serve alongside Daniel, to rule alongside him. Daniel was faithful to God. His friends were faithful to God. And now God was blessing him in a wonderful way. Boys and girls, tune in tomorrow. We'll see the next part of the story of what happens to Daniel and his friends.